Really big. Big beaver though. Yesterday, I went and got me some hip waders. I've been kind of talking about it for a bit. Um, still got to get me some my other waders. They're still not here. But some guys have gave me some pretty good ideas on how to patch some holes in your waders. And I'm thinking about just going ahead and getting me a new pair. And then... Uh, Taking my pair that I have now, patching them up um, with some of the ways that those guys have told me um, that will work. Um, and that way I have a backup when I put another hole in these waders because, oh, excuse me, if you're a trapper, you put holes in waders, especially if you're wearing them pretty much everywhere you go so you know, guys this whole freaking place is getting iced over really good again which sucks because i love setting the drowner sets they're so deadly when they're when you can get them set that someone always calls when I'm filming always I don't see my trap down here guys see it at all there's my rebar I was like gosh dang where's my rebar at ooh these things are frozen guys <laughs> I actually got me some new gloves too guys uh, totally left them at the house but wish I had them right about now because these things are rock solid I get them wet and get them loosened back up. All right, maybe we connected finally on this freaking trap. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, look at there. Oh, we got an otter, guys. Look at that, guys. Freaking otter. Heck yes. Oh man, I'm pumped up for this. I told him. All right, guys. Oh, I'm freaking jacked. So, I don't know if I posted it in a video or not. I probably didn't because I just caught an otter. But I was saying, uh, just down there, guys, all the way down there, I saw an otter hole. I was like, I might catch an otter. And I had that 330 set where I kept saying, there's a good chance I might catch an otter here caught the otter on this freaking dam I broke oh, man I'm freaking pumped for that gosh dang all right this trap's still set here guys okay Whew. yes pumped up oh, we're trapped up here with the freaking otter hell yeah so and I told you guys before 
in a video and I know I posted this but straight off there off, off that point I caught two otters there last year and most times when you have catch an otter guys typically they run in pairs so definitely gonna reset this I actually I need to try to find some more tracks of where they're actually accessing so a lot of times guys if you come here it's like somebody took a piss right there huh so if you, a great place to put like a 330 for an otter guys would be like in this stream right here be a really good place for one there's another dam right here that crosses over let's go check it out real fast yeah, we probably can't go check it out real fast. I know this is too deep right here for my hip waders. But right over there is a crossover. And it looks like it's opened up. That would be probably a good place, another good place for a drowner set uh, for the otter. Whew, gosh, I'm freaking pumped. All right, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, I had to make some phone calls to some buddies and brag about my otter. I don't catch a whole lot of otters, guys. But when I do, it's an awesome feeling. If you guys are 330, uh, if you guys have 330 on YouTube, uh, he actually is the guy that taught me this. Take this beaver, otter, Anything that's really wet, run it through the snow a few times, and it, dry, it dries it up pretty good, guys. It's kind of crazy how it works. Run it on his underneath side. Isn't that something? I can't, man, I can't explain how pumped I am, guys. All right, let's get this thing reset here. And uh, this this was dammed up, guys, okay? So we still got beavers active in here. We got more sticks added in here. Kind of break this up a little bit. Open it up more for those beavers and, well, apparently otters. Get that ice out of here. Gosh, freaking awesome. I went from getting my butt kicked on this trap to catching an otter. <clears throat> Ooh. That one slid like extra further than I wanted to. Slide that back down, guys. Hopefully we'll get the second otter. Like I said, they usually run in pairs. My trap bed. that I wish I would have caught him in that 330 because 
that's where I really thought I would catch him. But I'll take it wherever. Any animal, actually. Sometimes it's just better to get surprised anyways. Let's uh, fix this just a little bit up here. We got it dammed up back here. They're damming it up back here more. It's not flowing as good as it was. Like it all right let's go on down the line all right guys we've got an active slide right here real active slide they got a bunch of ice broken up you can see some runs that one run right there it actually looks like a muskrat run they got their feed pile up there right here guys look at this see it Another slide right here. What are those tracks? I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like kind of looks like otter track. Look at this over here, guys. Coming up out of here. Doing whatever they are doing right there. Wish this ice would stay cleared. Guys, look over here, guys. Money crossing over. This is staying thawed out. There should be no ice right here. Yep, no ice. A drowning set has to get set right here. Look at this. Right here, guys. Boom. Money, guys. This is, this is definitely, there's obviously some ice right here though. Let's get this cleared out for them. Ooh. Gotta keep it busted for them so they can actually use it. Cause I do have a couple more drowning rods that I can use. And right here, guys, right here would be a great place to catch that uh, mink and an otter, either one of these. Obviously beaver, but that mink the other day that I seen was just right up there about 30 yards. Be a great spot to catch the mink right here. But this one's clearly the one they're using the most. It's coming right down here. Going right down in there. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, right there, guys. We're starting to work on a bank den. Clearing it out. Another great place to catch a mink is right there. A lot of sign over here. There's still a lot of beavers in here. You can set a 3:30 anywhere in here, guys. There's not many bubbles though. There's some. The open water right here. Let's go check this out. I don't see any bank dens. All right. Whew. The otter has me all pumped up and now I'm in scouting mode to try to catch a second otter. Be a great place to catch an otter too is right up there. But these are all from beavers. Like I'm not saying that otter's doing all this or mink, but since there's otter here, they'll take basically everywhere a beaver 
everywhere they make a run and all that stuff, they'll follow it. I don't know if you guys caught any of that. Oh, there's another one. Another hint. You probably didn't see any of that on the GoPro. So, kind of one of the main reasons why. One of the main reason why I started trapping guys was because our uh, numbers of all sorts of you know deer, uh, pheasant, quail, turkeys, the numbers are just down. Um, they weren't down back when I started trapping, but I wanted to help try to prevent you know the numbers going down. Well, you can only do so much as just one trapper, but I just kicked up five roosters and four hens. That's so awesome. They're right here. Try to see where there, there's some tracks. Pheasant tracks right here. I see where they're all bedded down. They were somewhere in this thick stuff. It's freaking awesome, guys. All right. Back over here where I've been catching. Let me get this on my head. Doesn't look very active anymore. Looks like a bunch of sticks are all messed up there though. Gosh dang. Trap's gone. The trap's gone. Jeez. Gee. Man, that Come on, baby. Feels heavy. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. Check it out, guys. Another freaking big beaver. Oh, that was dumb of me. Heck yes, guys. Plan worked. Ugh. Make sure we're screens good here. All right, guys. I love when a plan comes together. I haven't even checked this 330 yet, guys. <clears throat> but if you remember, there's a stick right here that kind of looks weird to me. All right, trap's still set. Go ahead and leave it. But, guys, I think we're, I really don't think there's going to be any more beavers coming up through here. I got three beavers out of here. Got two right there, and then one on that drowner set. I just set that drowning set. Good front foot catch, guys. Man, I love when a plan comes together. 
it has just been a freaking awesome day guys i can't explain to you how pumped i am right before i got down here saw a freaking group of pheasants <sighs> caught an otter my day's pretty much completed i wish i would have caught a coyote today and then it just would have been an insane check day but i'm gonna take this guys this is so awesome i'm really helping the farmers on this piece of property i said in the last video that i had six beavers from here that number is actually wrong i have seven beavers from here this makes eight so man i'm freaking pumped guys i know i've already said that but i am i'm just i'm just pumped up but look another big beaver another big beaver i'd say this is probably what I, I would say this is probably another uh, teenage beaver, guys. Let's uh, let's get them cleaned up a little bit. Let me get this on my head. I'll... Stay tuned, guys. All right, get his feet out of there. Let's get him cleaned up a little bit. You see how wet he is, guys? Look how wet he is. Now look how dry he looks. Isn't that crazy? Really cool. Really appreciate 330 Maniac showing that. So, all right, let's get this big, big boy out of here. Uh, I'm not gonna reset it here, guys. Ice froze over. I'm gonna keep this 330 here for one more day, but I'm not gonna reset there. I'm not gonna break the ice up any more than I did. I'm actually gonna put some ice over it. So they hopefully will not go over there at all. If they have to come through here, they'll have to go right through here. Man, I think I'm going to check what time it is when I get back up the ranger, but I am going to go ahead and go stick this rod right down over there, guys. Because right down over there is just where i seen uh, all that activity. So, all right, so, guys. I have time to set over here. I got about an hour before I need to leave. So I get some ice broke up here, guys. I pulled both my drowning rods that were just up there, guys. I pulled them. You know what? <laughs> I forgot to check one of those drowning rods up there. I need to do that before I leave. Can't believe I forgot that. So far, I love the hip waders. So far, real easy to move around in. I didn't, these aren't insulated either guys, but I don't, I didn't want insulated ones. First off, they cost way too much. Now I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to break this guys. I'm just kind of make a trap bed here. So they're crossing over. I actually need to bring some mud in. Uh, get that one over there. Get a bunch of mud in here. Make a trap bed. Build that trap bed up a little bit, guys. That should work. Don't want any ice blocking that.
There we go. Fell right over, perfect. Another thing I don't like to do, and I'll try to cover it back up, you don't wanna to try to break too much to where they might feel comfortable with going over here instead of right there. <clears throat> so I'll try to cover that back up the best I can. bending on me this might take me just a bit here hey yeah, stand by guys I need to fix my rod here probably gonna set my damn trap off out of work <sighs> out of work I don't like it but it ought to work gosh I hate that I did that I hate that I did that, guys. Could actually ruin it. Could ruin it. <sighs> All right. Let's go to the next one. You guys, getting a second one in here. I already got some of the stuff broken up. Got the ice opened up a little bit more. Now, there's the one right there that I already set. Set this one, I need my rod to go that way. I already cleared out a bunch of crap that was under the ice. Cause we don't want our drowning. We don't want our trap, our slider right here. That can get caught up on sticks, you know, and then the beaver won't drown, so. That would kind of defeat the purpose. That's gonna work great, I think. I already messed my trap bed as well, guys. I am gonna adjust this. This pan is like super flat. There we go. There we go. That's a lot better. Where's my steak at? Steaks kind of want to pop up on me. Gotta redo it, guys. Gotta redo it. That's what we want. My trap right where I want it. May bring a little bit more mud in, guys. 
trap's not sitting very level. There we go. There. Heck yeah. That's perfect. All right. All right. Looks good, guys. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get some ice, ice out of here. Without getting my hand in the trap. Yep, the only I hate is this right here, guys. I'm gonna put some sticks right there. Don't like it. Maybe that'll help them not go right there. I mean, surely they'll just go right there because that's just their natural uh, spot, guys. So hopefully we double up here, guys. I'd be pretty, I'd be pretty jacked about that if we could just double up. I'm really wanting a mink and a beaver. Don't care on which one, one or the other. All right, guys. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as uh, I enjoyed showing you guys. Uh, one of the greatest thing is, is with trapping is when you get up to that trap and you're you're trapped up in the critter that you're after, and especially like when you actually come up with a game plan. Like this is, you know, the what the reason why I'm doing this. And if you guys saw in the last video, I explained that that set on this beaver right here on why I was setting that drowner set where I did. It's just the coolest feeling. I don't even know how to explain the feeling um, when it actually exit, you know, it, it follows up with uh, what you basically were planning on doing. Uh, so God, just a great feeling. And I'm still just super jacked about the, the otter guys. I mean, just a great day on the line. Just, it's beautiful out. I saw pheasants and just, yeah. It's, I just can't explain it really. I mean, I just can't. So we got some, we switched some traps around. I actually still have to go check a drowner set that I totally forgot about. Um, I doubt there's anything in there. Uh, so I won't even probably show it unless there's something in there, but pumped up. Hopefully we can keep this roll going with these beavers and uh, hopefully get an otter and a mink. I'm really pumped about it. These crossover sets guys, them drowners are, they're killers. They, you can catch so many critters in those crossovers. I mean, multiple critters. Uh, mink, otter, muskrat, and beaver. I mean, those are your, and you can catch coons, but you don't ever actually set there for coons. Um, but yeah, it catches, it catches pretty much everything, guys. So pretty pumped about it. Appreciate you guys watching that video, and uh, hopefully we'll be right back here in the morning and, uh, uh, trapped up with some more beavers and hopefully otters. So see you next time